So today I'm going to show you how to create bush trips for Microsoft Flight Simulator using Bush Trip Injector. The first thing you'll need, however, isn't Bush Trip Injector. You will need a different program called Little Nav Map, which you can get from the link in the description. So the first thing you want to do is load up Little Nav Map. This is where you are actually going to plan your bush trip. So I'm just going to create a little simple one. Ugh, if it ever stops lagging. Anyway, okay. I'm just going to do one up here in my local area. This is just going to be a super short one just so I can walk you through it. So we're going to right click on the airport that we want to start at. And we're going to go set the airport as departure. And right click on the next airport we want to go to. Add position to flight plan. And we're going to select the final airport, right click it, and set as destination. And there we are, we've made our flight plan. Now you can do this with as many waypoints as you want. That includes being able to just click in, drag, and just placing waypoints wherever. But for this one I'm not doing waypoints, I'm just going direct from airport to airport to show you how to do this. So. The important things we need to know in here is the flight plan remarks menu. This is super important because the text that you enter here will appear in game in the bush trip menu here on the side of your bush trip. Now. So I'm just going to quickly type in here. And there we go. So we've got that in. Now if we go back to the flight plan, you're going to want to um, put in instructions uh, to players of how to get from point A to point B. So on each of your markers, ignoring the first one, the first one nothing will happen if you do it to this one, but on each of your markers you want to put instructions of how to get to that particular marker. So we're going from Berrigan, oh sorry, from Finley here to Berrigan. So we'll right click on um, the Berrigan one. We'll click Edit Flight Plan Position Remarks. And in here, this is your instructions to the player on how to find their way. So this first one would simply be, um, you know, we'll just keep it nice and simple. Fly east from Finley and you'll find Berrigan. And then for the final one down here, Tokemall, we'll do the same. Edit flight plan position remarks. Nice and simple. So once you've got your descriptions in and all of your positions and you're happy with your plan, then you're pretty much done with little nav map. So we'll go up here and we will save the file. And we're just gonna save it on the desktop so we can find it easily. There it is. So next up, we're gonna load Bush Trip Injector. Once the Bush Trip Injector is loaded, File, Open, and select the plan that you just made. And it will load it in like that. Now, things in here that you're going to want to change are pretty obvious. Well, not super obvious. It may look like you're being hit with a crap load of data, but I'll walk you through it. First of all, Author. Stick your name in here. Project. This is the folder name that it will go in. Call that whatever you want. Uh, we're going to ignore Title for the moment. And what you really want is location and description. Uh, if you want it to match the uh, game's built-in ones in description, you put the country that it's in. Because the description line here, for some reason, links up to the country line. As you can see here, Balkans, or this one here that I've previously made, Australia. Then the uh, location one, that's actually the name of the bush trip. So you'll see here in this screenshot um, the Mighty Murray River or the New South Wales coast or Unalaska to Kulik Lake. Um, they're all actually in the location box. So I'll just go the grand test flight. Because why not? And I might as well stick that up in the actual title as well. It gives you the information on your, the runway that you're going to start from. 
Uh, so if you don't want to start on runway 23 or whatever that airport, you can change that to whatever you want and so on and so forth. You can change the plane that you're starting with. So in this case, I'm just going to use the TBM. You know, you can enable refueling, make it so that the plane's cold and dark and so on and so forth. But I'm just going to keep most of these settings um, stock because you don't really need to change many of them. Clear sky, summer, at about 8am. I'm going to make that about 10am. And you can turn other things on like, okay, do you want the weather menu to be available to players? Do you want assistance options to be available? And so on and so forth. But either way, this page is pretty much completely set up now. So then what you want to do is you want to go to your flight plan. And some things you can do here that are really cool. You'll have to make the uh, window bigger to find them. You can get information from Wikipedia about the locations that you're flying to to give a bit more in-depth information into your flight plan. So I'm going to open this one up here. Uh, and this just preloads Wikipedia for things in the area. So I'm just going to select this very good one here and press OK. So it's got the instructions for where the person's going to fly to, which you can't edit in here. You can only edit that in little nav map. And then you've got information on your mission afterwards. We'll do the same here. And we'll select just this one here. Basically, just read through, see which ones that you think would be interesting information for players to use. Select that one and throw it in. And that is pretty much all you have to do. There are a few other things. Um, we'll go, uh, yeah, actions, generate 2D landing and briefing images. There we go. And it's rendering the screenshots that it's going to need for the mission. And as you can see, it's put them in here. There is a way up here that you can do the 3D briefing and waypoint ones, um, which do look a lot better, and I do recommend doing them. Uh, but until you just get the hang of doing it basically like this, we're going to skip that. I might show you how to do them in a later guide. Something else you can do here in the menu, uh, loading tip. This is text that will be shown on the load screen when your mission is being loaded. So you can do stuff like you leave it default, or you can just be a clown like me, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But we've pretty much set up an entire bush trip already. So what we do now is we go actions, generate bush trip. and this part will take a little while to do. Generation finished. Should it be compiled? Yes, you should compile it. This will take a while. You can check the progress down here. Current step, compiling. It will take a while. It's already taken over a minute so far. There we go. Once it's done, a DOS window will appear like this and it'll say press any key to continue so we'll just press enter then it will ask if you want it to copy your bush trip to the community folder and of course if you want to test it so yes and then would you like it to start flight simulator so you can test it absolutely always test never release anything that's untested Okay, now the game is finally loaded, we can test out our bush trip. We're going to activities, bush trips, and you'll find it pretty easily. Here it is here, the grand test flight. There is a way you can change this picture. As you can see, I've done it here and here, and I'll explain how to do it later. But we're going to test our flight first. So here it is here. See, fancy description about this bush trip for demo purposes. Here's our two landing points, runway one and runway two. So yeah, uh, Berrigan and Togemol. You can see we've got two legs. First one's from Finley to, Ber uh, Finley to Berrigan, second one's from Berrigan to Togemol. 
So we will go in and we will fly it real quickly to test it out, make sure it all works. I'll speed up most of this so you don't have to sit through the entire flight. And you can see there's our load screen. I'll show you how to change the load screen as well if you want to. Okay, now we're in. We can see the VFR map, which I'll just close. And we can see here uh, the nav log, where we put our instructions in, in little nav map, fly east, and where we put the extra information from Wikipedia in using Bush Trip Injector. So we'll just take off, and I'll fast forward this whole flight. Butter. Leg completed. Continue on, we'll finish this test flight by going to the final stop. Yet again, we've got our um, instruction that we put in in little nav map, and we've got the Wikipedia entry that we put in in Bush Trip Injector. And I'll this And we have successfully tested our bush trip. So, I'll bet now you're thinking, well, how do we change the stock map photos to pictures like this? Well, that's pretty simple. Go into game, put your plane somewhere where you want it, change your camera to showcase mode, get that perfect angle, take a screenshot, and then I'll show you what to do with that screenshot. The trick to it is um, opening up the bush trip injector folder where you've been working, Go into Package Sources, go into the mission that you're working on, Package Sources again, Images. Activity Widget, this is your menu button, replace that image with your screenshot to get a um, good looking button. Loading screen, that's self-explanatory. So I'm going to replace these right now and show you how that works. I'm going to do it with the wallpaper on my desktop here. You'll obviously want to do them in JPEG, so we're going to have to open them up in an image editor. I'm going to use paint.net, but you can use whatever you want. So we'll load up Activity Widget. And we might as well load up a Loading Stream Widget as well. And we will load up our screenshot that we want to set to those two. Copy your image in. Position it how you want, and save that JPEG. You see, activity widgets change. We'll do the same for um, the load screen. And there we go. So the next time that you uh, generate your bush trip, those will be the screenshots that are used in both the menu button and the load screen, which I'll show you right now. So we tell it to generate, generation finished, yes, compile, you'll notice it hasn't overwritten our screenshots that we put in, so that's good. Your DOS window will pop up again, press any key to continue, should I copy that to your folder, yes, do you want to load the game and test, yes, and we'll load up the game and have a quick look and make sure those images are working. Alright, now we're in, we'll click on activities, we'll click on bush trips, and this time you'll see our test flight has our awesome image. And if we go in and then start the mission, you'll see it also has our awesome load screen. Now obviously the button and the load screen can be two completely different pictures, nothing says they have to be the same. And every now and then, our load screen message will appear in this box. There it is, subscribe to my YouTube channel, damn it. <laughs> but you can put whatever message you want in there, it doesn't have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, obviously.
but that's enough of that. We'll close out here. So once you've finished testing your mission and you're happy with it and you want to say, I don't know, release it to flightsim.to, what you'll want to do is go up to extras, create installer package. This will generate two files. One will be a zip file, which you'll be putting on flightsim.to, and one will be an exe, which you can put on whatever website that supports exes, flightsim.to does not. So here you go here. This one here is the one you'd upload to flightsim.to for other people to play your map. This exe file, you can share that however you want. Obviously not on flightsim.to, they don't allow exe files, but it's just an easy install for people who may not know how to find their community folder or anything like that. And all people have got to do with that one is just double click it. Hey look, project name, author, and it automatically finds the person's community folder next. Done. Installed. It's that simple. Either way, I hope I've helped you out with this really basic look at how to make a mission with Bush Trip Injector. There are many other cool features in here that I haven't gone through, such as, I don't know, putting a custom tail number on people's planes, and a few other things. You can adjust the weather and so on and so forth. But just play with it. You'll find most of these settings yourself. There's a whole lot more, more advanced features that I'm not going over in this video. But you could either work them out or you can look around, someone else will tell you how to do it. Yeah, or even join the um, join the Bush Trip Injector Discord channel where they'll give you lots of information on how to do stuff. But either way, this has been a basic guide on how to make a basic bush trip with Bush Trip Injector. Hope you found it useful. Have fun.